Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is Parkinson's gear tester. The principle of Parkinson's gear tester is the gear to be tested is rolled in mesh with the master gear and the error will be indicated by the dial gauge or recording unit. Instead of measuring individual errors in the gear, composite error are checked. The composite error indicates the combination of errors in the gear. The construction, a fixed spindle and movable spindle is mounted on the flat base. The movable spindle moves along the base by rolling action. The master gear is mounted on the fixed spindle whereas the gear to be tested is mounted on the movable spindle. The dial gauge is set to note the errors whose pointer touches the floating body. The working when the master gear slowly rotates, the gear to be tested will also rotate because of the meshing. The error in the manufacturing gear cause the gear to move away from the center line of the spindle. When the gear to be tested moves, the floating body also moves in the same direction. Because of the displacement of the floating body, the dial gauge gives displacement. The variation in the reading can be observed and plotted in the graphical format or the recorder in the form of a wax circular paper chart may be used and it can give plot and it can be decided whether the gear is satisfactory or not satisfactory. Here it shows the profile of gear. This gear is unsatisfactory. This gear is moderate gear. And this gear is satisfactory. So based on the profile obtained, it can be judged whether the gear can be accepted or rejected. But it does not give the cause of the variation. This method is only used for accepting or rejecting the gear. The errors do not distinguish the type only it gives the composite variation. This was the principal construction and working of Parkinson's gear tester. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.